So everyone is rolling out their patriotic and holiday themed desserts for the upcoming 4th of July. And usually I don't go overboard for it, but you know what? I was putting dessert together and as I was doing it, it was brought to my attention that this could perfectly be made into a flag. Well, you know I had to go there because it's 4th of July here in a little bit. So why not make a flag dessert? Don't worry, you can really do anything you want to with this, but it is the perfect flag dessert if you so choose. This is a absolutely delicious strawberry and blueberry sugar cookie tart. To start, you have to have a crust. And usually graham cracker crust or a pastry crust, come on, it is 4th of July. You might as well make a big honkin' cookie and put it as the crust. Because who doesn't like a cookie? And to boot, this is a sugar cookie. So it is delicious, it is sweet, and it is the perfect crust. And it's pretty much just a cookie in large form. Nobody is having a problem with that. For the cookie, you wanna cream one stick of butter with some sugar. Just cream it up until it's light and fluffy. Scrape down the sides if you need to, just to make sure everything's combining evenly. Sometimes the butter and sugar just kind of gets crammed up into the sides and on the bottom, and you really want to make sure it comes together evenly. Next, you just want to add some vanilla and an egg. Yes, I cracked it into another bowl, just in case I get shell, which usually I do, but of course this time I didn't, so I wouldn't have had to, but just to be safe, I did. Next, the dry ingredients, which I'm just gonna throw right into the bowl. Some salt. Baking soda. And flour. Really, this could not be any easier. Just mix it together until it's well combined. You wanna make sure everything's combined. Even scrape down the sides again if you need to. And then clean off the paddle. You know, I always start and try to do it with my spatula. That's not happening. I'm just gonna use my fingers. And then you just wanna press it into a tart pan. Now, you don't have to do a tart pan. I admit, it's a little bit like, seriously, who's gonna be doing a tart pan? Well, I am, because it kinda of dresses this up just a tad and makes it look a little bit better than it really is. Because, honestly, if you can do anything to make something look better, why not? If not, don't worry, you can just put it into like a nine by nine baking dish. Spread it over the bottom as evenly as you can, and then I think it's easiest just to use an offset spatula and just spread it to the sides a little bit. Put it up the sides about halfway to make a crust and then evenly along the bottom. I like to put it on a parchment light baking sheet just to make sure none of that butter seeps out into my oven. I hate cleaning an oven, so if I can keep it clean, I'm going to. As it is baking, it will puff up, and you're probably gonna think, oh my goodness, that is way too puffy to make into a tart. Don't worry, right before you're gonna pull it out, it happens to just drop perfectly in the pan, and that is exactly what you want. So once it is golden brown and has sunken back down, pull it out, let it cool, and then you can start making your filling. This filling cannot be any easier, and honestly, it's really almost, I'm gonna say it, it's healthy. So there is no guilt with this. Just don't think about the cookie. Start with some Greek yogurt because it is already strained, so you don't have to sit there and strain it and get all that extra liquid out. Why go to extra work if you don't have to? Add some lime zest. Lime zest really just makes this pop and brightens the whole dessert. And then some lime juice. Same thing, adds that brightness. Believe me, you want it. And then finish with some honey. Just whisk that together until it is really well combined and smooth. Taste it. If you need to, you can add more honey because I am using, of course, non-sweetened yogurt. Why buy yogurt with all the sweeteners in it? You don't know what all I have put in there. Just add some honey. Once that's put together, make sure your crust is completely cool. You don't want to put it on there warm because it's just going to melt the yogurt. Since I'm using a tart pan, it is really easy to remove. I have a bottom that just comes right out, push it out, and then just use like an offset spatula again just to make sure it releases from the bottom of that tart pan and slide it right off. If you're using a baking dish, I would probably spray it before you do this and then it can probably pop out really easily. Just spread the yogurt on the crust evenly, all around, eat some, no one's watching you. I definitely eat some.
And then we're just gonna top it with some delicious strawberries and blueberries. I think you get where this is going. It's obviously gonna be a theme, red, white, and blue. So just take the tops off your strawberries. If they're too big, you can either cut them in half or slice them horizontally in half, whatever works best. I kinda like to see the whole strawberries, so I leave them whole and just set them upright. Line them up as best you can. Obviously strawberries are all sizes, so if it's not perfect, don't worry, because it still tastes perfect. Leave a corner for your blueberries. This is obviously where the flag is gonna come into play. And then just line those up. If you don't wanna line, you can dump them. I don't know, a line just felt a little bit more right, a little bit more work, but I think it's worth it. You really get that flag effect. To finish this and give it a very professional finish, but also just make it look even more appetizing, I take a little bit of my homemade strawberry jam, you can use store-bought, Add just a little bit of water, heat it up until it's slightly warm, stir it together, and then just brush it on top. It is gonna give it that gorgeous glisten and make it glimmer just like it would in any of those pastry shops. Usually it is done with like an apricot preserve, but it's strawberry, so I wanted to add as much strawberry flavor as I could. Just brush it on top. Mine does have some fruit in it, so there might be a few chunks, but who cares? It is delicious and looks awesome. If you wanna wait a few hours to serve, that is no problem. Just pop it in the fridge. I'd maybe cover it with some plastic wrap just so no other flavors kinda of mingle in there. But then when you're ready, just pull it out, slice it up, and have the most patriarch dessert that I can think of. It is so delicious, so simple, but also looks like it took a lot of time. If you agree and like this, make sure to click like below and click subscribe to become part of the Great Boxer channel. I love to hear from you guys on Instagram and Facebook and see how you're using these recipes. Happy 4th!